So in this video I wanted to talk about one of the advantages of coordinating your information, particularly adding new services on the back of building information modeling implementation. If you coordinate your information then those co that coordinate system, that information becomes very useful for those on site and a lot of people are looking at better coordination with the construction teams those are laying out particularly those who are working on existing structures or retrofits because there needs to be a close staking out on site to ensure that they're not causing any interferences such as building um, on top of on-site obstacles that haven't been considered in the model. To answer those uh, requests Autodesk have introduced a tool which is basically a uh, purchasable extra but is a bolt-on to the Revit software and that's called Autodesk Point Layout. So it introduces a number of tools um, for laying out points and you can see them on this new ribbon that gets added into the Revit software. If I go and have a look at what some of this does, if I go and click on wall, on one of the walls for example, I'm then able to use the um, points tools to actually set out points, a bit like the Kogo points if you like, that actually mark out positions on that wall. So if I go to the wall points here, I can stake out some points and I can say um, that I want to start at point number zero and um, they're staking out there for the current phase um, that I want to use the current selection and I want them to be set at a dis certain distance from one another, in this case 100 millimeters. Uh, I want to choose the location on the walls as well and if I press on OK here you'll see that it adds these points in. I'll just zoom in a little bit here and you can see if I highlight them for you that those points are now located as objects and you can see the properties associated with them. You'd carry on and do the whole thing for the new extension that we're putting on this building and then I can export these points out and I can export them out to a DXF and a CSV file. You can see here as well that I'm also able to attach them to issues for use in Autodesk 360 field as well, BIM 360 field. So I'm just going to set up the settings here and choose the option to grab the DXF file and choose what coordinate system I want, which is obviously the shared coordinate system. So again, it's essential that your coordination process has happened ahead of this. Um, and then once I export that out, it will become available to me um, for use in site equipment. So one of the things you can do if you work with certain providers of site equipment um, is be, you'll be able to send this uh, file that has been created over something like an internet connection to people that are actually working in the field if they've got the right sort of surveying equipment they'll be able to um, download that into their particular equipment and be able to find those same locations on site. Equally as well there is an import option so if they need to mark out any positions on site which they need the designers or the construction management team to understand within the Revit software they're also able to do that as a backward workflow as well. So hopefully this video has allowed you to consider using software like Revit and, and design software for new services that you previously hadn't considered such as site layout, such as site registration, such as uh, closer collaboration with construction teams and also other uh, requirements like client outputs that you might need to produce as well. I hope this video has been useful. If you do have any questions at all, please do shout.